Hi folks, Kenny the Vibin here, I'm back again. Um, hope you're all doing mighty fine and thanks again for joining me and give up your precious time. Um, today I'm dabbling in something, I've been thinking of dabbling in for a while, but um, basically it's DIY liquid and I've been using this stuff from Darkstar. But before we get more into that, just remember to please do the usual like share most of all hit that subscribe button and leave your comments below um so without further ado let's just roll the intro yeah Right folks, like I said, sorry about that, I'm delving into this DIY liquid, uh, DIY liquid market as they speak. Um, this is Nemesis from Darkstar, little disclaimer, not being sponsored, not being paid, they haven't sent us this, anything like that, I've just went and bought and paid for this, just like you will if you choose to do so, just as a consumer, customer, etc. Um, DIY e-liquids is always kind of like, oh, you think, God, do I have to go into the science lab and mix this and goggles and white coats and all this stuff and quantities of this and poof, you know. Um, it is probably a bit daunting to, to someone that's never done it before. Um, so I was looking had a very simple, easy way. Um, you know, there is the traditional way um, where people use syringes to measure quantities of ingredients out, um, the scales, you know, measuring stuff out on scales, and, you know, mixing it all together, etc. I didn't really want to, to dabble into that too much yet, because like I say, I'm a total novice, I'm a total beginner. I want something, you know, you can just mix, shake it, pour it away, or vape it, whatever. So, this is why I had a look at some of these dark star products. Um, I'll I'll show you the stuff when we get down the table what you get. Um, basically, you know, it's it's a simple and easy mixing method. Um, it's not very messy, and it's pretty easy to do even for a a thicky novice like myself. So what we'll do, we'll have a look doing on the table. You can see everything and what I do, and then. Uh, We'll come back up and then we'll we'll take it from there. Yeah. Right folks, here we are down the table. As you can see, I've got some protective gloves on, even though I've got a couple of holes in because I've got very, very big hands. I've got you know, a couple of holes there, but I use my fingers, I should be okay. Um, so basically I've got a, a whoop, yeah, we'll go. I've got a marker here just to mark the bottle with the date and everything for sleeping. I've got a little knife here to help us take the tops off the nicotine shots. This is my bottle shot which is the Dark Star Nemesis, which is a strawberry custard. This is your Dark Star base mix, which I believe is about, it's about 85, 15, but obviously by the time it's mixed with everything else, it comes up about, you know, 80, 50, something like that, max VG, or maybe, you know, 70, 30, 80, 20, it's drawn about there. Put this top to put on your bottle for when you've mixed it, and obviously the required amount of nick shots. And this, what you do first is you take your bottle shot, crack it open, and this this point is where you add the nicotine, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to crack all these lids off, off these nic this is why this is why you must wear gloves, you know, for, for handling the nicotine, because um, apparently it absorbs into your skin, so it can cause problems in their large amounts, but you know, I think the quantities we're using wouldn't really do a huge amount of harm, but you know, you've, it's best to save them. So all I do is I just pop these tops off. Oh, sorry there, just a uh, bit of a knacker. I just use my knife to tuck it under there if I can get out of it. There you go, just tuck it in. Whoop, I flew off. I'll just uh, pick that up. I don't know that stuff lying about. That's two. Again. Tuck the knife under the cap. 
off it comes. And that one there. There you go, that's that one up. And that's all that down. Basically, you're just pouring these fellas in here. Um, just glug them in there. So a nice whole idea of taking the tops off. You can just glug them all in. Get them all nicely emptied out. Maybe enough room to get two in there actually. If I just whoop nearly that was the empty. I just glug two of them in like so. That's better. Nice and going in quicker. Again, just drop it all in. Make sure you get it all in nicely. Don't want to waste this stuff. And we have our final one. So these four nick shots in here will give you a three milligram level of nick in this 250 milliliter bottle you'll have. And that's all I've done. So we'll just make these safe here. Put the caps back on, seal them up. Oh, you know, don't want none of this stuff getting left about. It's pretty hair. Uh, you know, it's got to be kept out of the way of kids and all that stuff. Like, you know, you just your normal precautions, what you do. Oh, in a minute, that hasn't gone on. You know, this is the thing, this is why I hate wearing rubber gloves you, or gloves of any. You know, description, you kind of get a hand out with them. So, all that's put away. Worth knowing while I'm doing this, you know, the surface you're doing, make sure it's, you know, it's a surface that you don't mind getting dirty or you're protected or whatever. Um, just in case you get any spillages, etc. So, basically, you've got your nick in. As you can see, it does look a little bit cloudy, but you know, you just give it a little twirl like that, just to give it a little twirly round, like you do. And then just a case people of topping up your base mix. And when you fill this up, make sure you leave a little gap um, for you to shake it. Oh, nearly. See what I mean about spillages, people? See what I mean? Nearly cock that one right up. Leave a little bit of a space at the top. Drop your lid on, and that was basically it. See, there's your, you know, your little gap there at the top. Leave a little space. And all that's for is just to give you a bit of room for shaking it and activate it. So, basically, that's all you start doing now. Just give it all a good mighty shake. So, once you've um, sorted that bit out, you can now mark your bottle up. Um, so there you go. My nick content there is. 3MG. The date was the 29th of uh, the 7th, 20. So you know roughly when you set it up, you know, and just put some details on so you know roughly when it was mixed. So you can basically keep an eye on it. Let's see it. Good old shake. Get it all mixed in nice and properly. And then what you would normally do now, as it tells you on the bottle, don't know if you can see that there. So it'll best best between three to four weeks steep time. So that's all you do now. Put that away and forget about the three weeks. But for the purpose of this review, we're gonna go back up top and I'm gonna have a little drip in it just to see roughly what the flavour's like before it's steeped. So I'll get all this stuff tidied up. Uh, and we'll go back up top and we'll have a quick little taste of it, eh? Yeah. See you in a bit. Right, folks, there you go. Well, that's uh, the mixing. Sorry, it was a bit fumbly like, you know, um, and then bloody gloves were far too small for us. <laughs> but, you know, it's nicotine, you know, just take the usual precautions that like you, you do with any e liquids, you know, keep them out the, the reach of children and all that stuff and obviously you wear gloves and take care when you're handling it because it does absorb in the human body through the skin also so you know make sure you keep everything nice and clean and when you tidy up make it all nice and clean too and obviously dispose of any empties you know 
properly and correctly, etc. So, as you can see, what we've ended up with, if I just street shower, is that. Well, as you can see, it's a bit bubbly and gurgly. As obviously, we'll give it a good shake, so you know. But basically, now, like I said, it says on this uh, this bottle that this one is a strawberry custard flavour, um, a rich and creamy strawberry dessert flavour, and it's obviously got your steep time recommended at three to four weeks, which, when I've been doing me bit of homework, we're talking about custards do take a little bit longer to steep, but for the purpose of the review, I've dropped it in here. Um, what I've got on here is the recurve dripper on the old uh, Mech Pro by Geekbeer. It's still a crack little mech, this honestly. I guess see, if you ever want to spare back me up mod, this fella does the job, you know, it's, it's brilliant. Excellent little mod, purely mechanical by the way, so you know if you're a beginner, you know, make sure you know all your ohms and all that stuff, you know, little disclaimer, <laughs> don't really blow yourself. But I've dripped a bit on this, so I'm going to give it a little toot, yeah? <coughs> Excuse the cough. Because with a bit of fresh mix, what you're getting is the harshness of the nicotine, which will fade steep time. But the general flavour it is, the strawberry is very prominent. Um, that's the first thing you obviously get. And you're getting a little bit of cream on the way out. It's not brilliant, but you're getting the basic idea. Um, and plus that nick is still very bitter. So, as we back up, just get rid of the taste, I've got the old uh, Aegis X here with the old uh, Zeus on the top of it, a little matchy matchy, and I'm vaping on my ready already. If you should know by now, me Cherry Cake Dodgers. This is my little backup. Get that taste, we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's nice. Like I say, I've had it in this. Just like I say, it's the recurve on top of this. It's got some dual core, fuse clappings, any NI80s, right? That's basically what I was vaping on. So there you have it, folks. Simple DIY. And the cost of that, right? There's 250 mil there. The cost of that including shipping, taxes and all that, was 18 quid. I've seen bottles of 120, I've seen bottles that big, going for 19 quid, you know, and that's a, what, a 100 mil? Yeah, 100 mil for 120 mil with the, with the nick in. So, you know, you get double the amount for the same kind of price. Um, and you can get in various sizes, you can actually get a litre made a litre kit of it, which I think it's about 40 quid. So, you know, a litre of juice. That's a lot of juice. Um, but that's a simple way. I mean, you know, it's, it's, bas it's basically just like a, a flavour shot. And, you know, a base mix, which you add, and you just add your nicotine to whatever strength you require. Um, simple as that. Um, it's something that I will probably keep doing. Um, but I do... Want to look further into mixing, um, you know, some of these flavours. Um, I know there's loads of sites that have got tons of e-liquid recipes on by various well-known reviewers as well as other folks that do it and e-liquid mixers. Um, there's various e-liquid calculators online that tell you how much and what to put in and all this kind of stuff. So, and obviously, you know, there's various online shops where you can buy your raw materials, i.e. your flavours, your PG and your VG, which I believe are pretty... The PG VG, I think, is dirt cheap, you know, you can get it for next to nothing. Um, nicotine, again, it's, it's pretty cheap. Um, you might pay a little bit more for some of your flavours, but out of these bottles of your flavours, you might get two batches. You might get, say, like, I don't know, a 30ml bottle of whatever, and you only need, like, 10 for your batch, so you've still got another 
20 for another two batches. So it kind of even, it might, the initial set of cost might be a little bit on the high side, but once it evens out, it's, it's dirt cheap, it's really cheap, it saves you money. So I think obviously um, with our current state affairs with the, the COVID, um, obviously here in the UK, they've been easing all the lockdown now and a lot of shops, including vape shops, are now uh, being allowed to open, sell and trade. Um, you know, I'm thinking maybe the prices might hike slightly for a while just for these guys to try and recuperate some money to pay their bills, which is fair enough. But, you know, um, I think prices in general will be on the increase for a short while just till everybody gets back on their feet type of thing. So this seems like a perfect opportunity for this. Um, but, you know, I'm going to leave that now for at least three weeks. Um, I'll probably just give you an update video on it when I'm... When I'm vaping on it just to give you a final you know what the flavors like so by all means give it a try you know it's a simple easy way you know you can't ask for much 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 more can you it's so easy and then like i say if you do like that kind of thing you want to start dabbling in so be it so basically guys i'm just gonna stop babbling and wrap this one up so i've been kenny the vaping heed stay safe Vape safe. I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Yeah. Cheers now. Bye.